I'm Julia, and I'm a product manager for Vertex AI, and I'm joined by my colleague Mark, who's the group product manager for Vertex AI Extensions. Hi, everyone. We're excited to join you today. We're introducing a new cloud platform our team is developing to build extensions, which help large language models access real-time data and real-world actions. Large language models are powerful, but they're frozen in time after training. This means their knowledge becomes stale and they can't dynamically call external services. Our new platform will change that by allowing developers to create enterprise extensions that securely connect LLMs to the real world. Mark will give you an overview of the platform and how to create an extension. And then I'll share some early examples of how developers can use our platform to create new and LLM-driven applications. Hi, everyone. So imagine that you're working at a company and you have a new product launch coming up for a retail store. And you go to uh, an AI chatbot and you ask, can you tell me more about the coverage for this new retail store? You're likely to get a response like this. I apologize, but as an AI language model, I don't have real-time data, and my knowledge only goes up to my training date. Therefore, I cannot provide specific information about events beyond that date. I bet many of you have seen texts like this. LLMs can be very useful, but they have significant limitations. First, they are frozen in time. They don't have access to new data after their final training date. This leads to stale or inaccurate responses. This also means that they can't access internal company-specific data after training. Foundation models are usually trained on publicly available data, but many organizations have large troves of internal data they'd like models to securely access. Finally, they can't interact with the world. They can't access common interfaces like APIs, which limits their ability to take action for users. Extensions, also known as plugins, help address these problems by connecting LMs to APIs, effectively connecting them to the real world. And the first example here, a search for press coverage on the company's latest launch triggers a real-time search to summarize the latest articles. In the second example, an employee wants help buying electronic components to build a new product. That triggers a supply chain extension to search inventory in real time, confirm the component is available, show the cost, and complete the purchase in the app. In the third example, the employee asks the company's deadline on benefits enrollment. The company's private extension connects the LLM to internal knowledge bases and gives the employee a grounded, actionable answer. We see a world where LLMs and APIs are combined to build sophisticated extension-powered applications. This includes digital assistants that can create entire documents, spreadsheets, and programs, search engines that can provide highly personalized responses grounded in an enterprise's context, and automated workflows that can streamline many tasks in areas like data science and cybersecurity. Despite the promise of extensions, they have a number of challenges today. First, developers lack effective tools to create, test, and deploy extensions in enterprise environments. We've talked with a number of developers that have created their own tools for tasks like extension debugging and evaluation, but they would rather focus on work specific to their use cases. Second, model output from extensions are often not accurate enough. Models too often choose the wrong extension or the wrong output format, reducing their usefulness and making it harder to chain extensions together to solve complex tasks. Third, extensions can access sensitive data and actions, creating new risks. Enterprises need robust controls for security, privacy, and compliance. That's why we're thrilled to announce Vertex AI Extensions, a Google Cloud platform to create enterprise extensions and extension-powered applications. Vertex Extensions will enable enterprises to build extensions with Google Cloud's granular controls for data access, residency, transparency, auditing, and compliance with internal policies. It will access Google's latest foundational models that have been trained on extension use cases. It will also integrate with the best of cloud services, such as BigQuery and Vertex AI Search, to build fully featured applications. We see Vertex Extension as a core component of a larger extension ecosystem that includes enterprises, employees, developers, and end user professionals and consumers. We categorize the benefits of extensions into two main categories internal use cases of making employees more productive 
by connecting LLMs to private data and actions, and external use cases by extending your products and services into AI services outside your walls. Let's dive into how you create an extension. There are four steps. First, select an API that you want an LLM to access. If you want to create a new API, check out Apigee, Cloud's API management service, which is building tools to easily generate APIs and extensions. Second, create two extension files, a manifest that defines the extension's metadata, like its name, description, and authentication, and an API specification that defines which methods the LLM can access. Third, test, debug, and publish your extension using Vertex's developer tools. And finally, deploy the extension in an application, like a chatbot or an automated workflow. Vertex extensions makes it easy to create and manage extensions. You'll be able to create extensions through our API or the Cloud Console and link to assets like logos and policies and cloud storage. Our API spec format is based on the open source OpenAF format and is compatible with ChatGPT plugins to improve portability between ecosystems. I'll now hand it off to Julia, who will tell you more about our extension developer tools and examples of extension-powered applications. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. So I'm super excited to show a little bit more about how you can use these various tools to not just create different extensions, but also to browse and use extensions. With the platform, you can build your own extensions using your APIs, as Mark just described. You could also use pre-built Googled extensions for popular Google Cloud services like BigQuery, AlloyDB, Vertex AI Search, and Code Interpreter. You could also use partner extensions for a variety of different tasks, such as data retrieval with DataStax, MongoDB, and Redis, or you can deploy your LangChain code through Vertex AI extensions. In the gallery, you can browse, discover, and test these different extensions, enabling developers to get started quickly. Yep. So now you've created that extension, but how do you make it useful? You want to combine extensions and the associated LLMs at the application layer. To cover different use cases, LLMs rely on their reasoning to decide if and when an extension should be called. This creates an agent operating in a runtime. Vertex AI extensions enables two different types of application runtimes. A reasoning application runtime that is managed by Google, ensuring that the right extension is called and that the output format is controlled, and a customizable application runtime that builds on open source frameworks like LangChain deployed direct, directly through Vertex AI extensions. These two options support different levels of customization, support, and controls. But as those of you well-versed in machine learning know, creating and building is only part of the journey. Evaluating performance is critical to production grade applications. So for this, having the tools to create data sets and run detailed evaluations is crucial. With Vertex AI extensions, you'll soon be able to leverage a handful of your own example prompts to create testing data sets. Using those data sets, you can then run experiments to understand where issues in the system arise and to collect examples to support relevant extension execution. These tools are designed to help you understand your extension-based applications and how they're going to perform. Understanding potential issues enables your teams to take actions, to configure and optimize your agents. With Vertex AI extensions prompt tooling, you'll soon be able to test and optimize your extension manifest and API specification. With LLM configurations, you'll be able to test different models with your extensions to ensure that you're choosing the optimal co uh, combination. The goal is to give you the tools to ensure that you have confidence in your extension-based applications. Now you've heard a lot about the platform 
And you're probably thinking that the possibilities tend to seem endless of what you can do with extensions. And I tend to agree. And that's why I'd like to focus on two concrete examples of how Vertex AI extensions can be implemented in real world workflows. Retrieval augmented generation and custom enterprise applications for data analysis. Retrieval augmented generation is an industry term that essentially means using data from an outside source to help the LLM generate the correct response. Extensions can be incredibly powerful for this, especially when they're combined with your company's information. Whether you're a retailer looking to generate a targeted ad campaign on the fly, leveraging a consumer's loyalty information, or a security company monitoring and classifying threats. Using extensions will help you drive factuality and personalize the responses that are, driven, that are shown to your users. On the other hand, Vertex AI extensions can surface tools like Code Interpreter wherever they're most useful to you and your users so that you can analyze and understand and visualize different data sets often without even generating a single line of code. Now, I'd like to explore some of those real world use cases in some early customer examples, but I'm going to give you all the caveat. The internet hasn't been working very well this morning, so I am doing all of the demos off my phone internet, so pardon if they're a little bit slower than originally planned, and bear with me a little bit. All right. So the really exciting demo and story I get to tell today is actually together with the Formula E team. At the end of July, Formula E put their data, their new Gen Beta race car, the industry's fastest, lightest, and most powerful and efficient electric car, and racers Jake Hughes from McLaren and Lucas Degrassi from Mahindra Racing to the test in an attempt to set a new Guinness World Record for the fastest speed achieved by a vehicle indoors. The two racers drove the Gen Beta car, a revolutionary Formula E electric race car, on an indoor track in London, and over three attempts, Hughes was actually able to break the world record. But not only is this a testament to the technological innovations of Formula E and their Gen Beta car, Vertex AI on GCP actually provided the analysis of each of the driver's runs. Using the Vertex platform, Hughes and Degrassi were able to interpret real-time telemetry data to understand speed, power, and grip. This gave them the ability to interact and converse in natural language to fine-tune their different approaches. Now let's check out the system that they were actually able to interact with and go to the demo, please. Yep. All right. So, so let's speak with, let me put my racing hat on here and let's speak with Jen Beta. First off, you can think of, you can think about a racer just having finished one of their specific laps. So I'm actually going to switch over to the driver mode here. One moment. And I would like to understand maybe a little bit more about what my speed and G-force was exiting the last left corner. What's happening here in the background is actually the sensoric information from the car is being streamed via PubSub into BigQuery to make it available to the Vertex AI LLMs. And as you can see, my speed was 59.88 and G-force was 1.271 exiting the last left corner. Now, I might want to ask, what was my maximum G-force. Again, we're making a call out to BigQuery in the background to ensure that we're generating and the relevant information for the specific drivers so that they can adjust their various attempts. And finally, given that this is an electric race car, I might want to ask, what was my battery capacity when I reached the top speed? This is particularly interesting as a, as a driver of an electric car because you want to be ensuring that you're using as much of that battery as possible. 
So what you can see here is that we're essentially making the information available to the drivers in natural language so that they can adjust their various attempts across the system. And to give you a little bit of a peek behind the scenes, I'll actually take you into the BigQuery tele telemetry data so you can see the response from the last question. As you can see, the speed tends to get faster, and then we end up with 7.7, .7, which is exactly what we were told the battery capacity was at the top speed. Now, Formula E was really, really excited about this, and they didn't just want to give the drivers a new experience. They also wanted to give their fans a new experience. And so they created what we know as the FanBot, where they hooked up Vertex AI search in the background, filled it with some of their information about Formula E, about their history, and about the Gen Beta car to create a new interactive experience for their fans. So let's talk to the FanBot and learn a little bit more about the race cars. As I just shared, the system is reaching out in the background to Enterprise Search to learn a little bit more about the car. And in this case, it's Gen Beta is a next generation Formula E car. It's still under development, but it's already broken the indoor land speed record. It can, has a top speed of 200 miles per hour, which is pretty interesting, and is faster than the previous generations of Formula E cars. Now I'm also curious, what is the G-force that you actually put on your drivers? This is interesting because I just want to learn a little bit more about what kind of stress the body is under when you're in this race car. And so as you can see, the driver is put under a G-force of 2.5. That's pretty cool. But now I'd like to test its creative skills. And I'd like to understand a little bit more about what it's like to be inside the world's fastest car. As you can see, it's an incredible feeling to be inside the world's fastest car. It's a real rush of adrenaline, uh, especially when you're able to go fast in such a confined space. And boy, am I glad that the demo played along, um, especially when I'm streaming things on my phone. So I'm definitely uh, feeling that rush of adrenaline right now as well. All right, if we could go back to the slides, I'd love to give you all a little bit of a sense of what's going on under the hood. Now that we've had this chance to speak with Jen Beta, the initial focus here was on creating two different bots. One that would enable the racer to interact with the data on BigQuery, and the other bot that would enable the fans to interact based on Vertex AI search. For the first version, the Google Cloud CE team, a huge shout out to this team, by the way, working together with Formula E, put together a demo structure using Langchain and the various components across the GCP stack. While the team was able to get things up and running really quickly, the biggest challenge turned out to be deploying the code on a GKE cluster, as well as the complex prompt management needed for retrieval accuracy. And that's where Vertex AI extensions comes in. In the second version, which you actually just saw running today, the team was able to quickly and easily click to deploy their Langchain code and LLM configurations through the extensions platform to get an HTTP endpoint embedded in the UI that you saw. This helped simplify the architecture and ultimately significantly cut down on the, de on the development time. As Formula E looks for ways to integrate this experience into their next season, we're building together towards a V3, bringing together the components as part of the Vertex AI extensions platform to create a common experience for the racer and fan, backed by production grade, security, privacy, and traceability on GCP, as well as supported by Vertex managed reasoning to drive consistency. Now that we've got a better understanding of how a customer could deploy Langchain code on Vertex AI extensions, let's explore some additional retrieval augmented generation use cases. Vertex AI extensions doesn't need to be in the classical chat interface that we see everywhere today. Customers like Manhattan and GitLab are looking to leverage the Vertex platform to create their own workflows. Manhattan Associates, a recognized leader in supply chain technology, 
is looking to leverage Vertex AI extensions to optimize warehouse operations. They believe generative AI has the power to provide unparalleled automated insights for supply chain managers and professionals, but only with the ability to ingest their internal APIs to pass data at production or at scale and in production. They hope to use Vertex AI extensions to balance labor assignments based on real-time utilization, open work, and deadlines to automate supply chain processes. As someone who got into, the, into supply chain management during COVID-19, I'm particularly excited about this, uh, about this use case. GitLab, on the other hand, hopes to leverage Vertex AI extensions to increase the accuracy of their latest feature supporting developers in resolving vulnerabilities. Here, they'd like to have the LLM have access to security remediation knowledge, as well as potentially the user-specific code base so that they can provide more tailored, accurate, and personalized information to the user and get them on their way quickly. We're super excited about all of these different use cases and have many more of them to share with you. But as we transition, retrieval augmented generation is not just the only thing that becomes easier and more powerful with Vertex AI. I'm particularly excited to share how data understanding, analysis, and visualization can be transformed, leveraging the databases where you have your data in conjunction with the power of code generation and execution. Many industries have huge amounts of data that they've collected over the years. After five years at Google, I've seen all this data but it's largely been left to specialized data science functions and machine learning engineers to make use of it because of the complex processes that are associated, as you can see on the left of the, or on the right of the slide. Leveraging Vertex AI extensions, the goal is to unlock all of these different use cases and allow those that don't necessarily know how to code to actually interact with the data in natural language across any kind of industry to answer questions like, what was the average fuel economy of my fleet over the last six months? Or in the farming space, what nutrient mix did I provide to my wheat fields this year? Or in the retail industry, how much of a specific product at a specific location was sold in the last 12 months? These and many more questions are ones that we'd like to enable customers to get answers to, and not just in the classical data science and machine learning functions. That's why with Vertex AI Extensions Code Interpreter, you can implement the ability to analyze and visualize data wherever it's most useful to you and your users. Whether that's a chat interface, an IDE, or a different UI, you can make it useful to your users in the way that's useful to you. By connecting your data extensions, you can then safely access the internet in an enterprise secure, privacy compliant, and scalable way. Now let's jump into a quick example. And since it's hard to surface the power of an API, you'll see some of these visualizations and mocks to help outline some of the concepts. The answers and the code generated are however generated from the underlying tools and we will actually jump in just to get a sense for what's going on under the hood. To illustrate this example, I'm particularly excited to actually be using a real data set from my family who are avid beekeepers and this is data that we've collected over the years from our different beehives. So let's assume that a developer has created this chat interface for me using Vertex AI Extensions Code Interpreter. Here, you can allow your users to upload a file, as I'm going to do, or to connect to a database instance, like BigQuery. Here, I'm choosing to simply upload a CSV with the data about my beehives. Next. I'd want to add prompt information about the data. So I probably don't have a great sense of what data is actually in this spreadsheet that I've uploaded. And so I'd like to understand what all the different headers are that I can be asking about. 
So I've asked um, what the different headers are, and as you can see, it correctly generates the code to understand those headers, showing me, hey, there's weight, some time, temperature, et cetera, available to me. Now, I'd like to understand how the weight of the hive is changing over time so that I can figure out when I should harvest the honey and to ensure that the bees have enough honey to survive over the winter. So I'll ask Code Interpreter how the weight changed over time. As you can see from this natural language query, it's generated the code to visualize that image. Now let's take a quick jump into the code and actually look at what the code that was generated. If you could switch to the demo. Perfect. So as you can see here, we imported various libraries first off. We then read the data from the CSV file, did some filtering, extracted some information, and then sorted by the date and the time, plotted the weight over time, and then set the title and access labels so that I would know what's going on in the chart and ultimately showed that plot to us. If we go back to the slides, this image is great, but there is one problem with it. There are two pretty significant outliers that makes it hard for me to actually see the chart, the, the course of the, the data over the graph. And so I'd like to ask Code Interpreter to remove these two outliers. So I'll ask, since there are outliers, can you remove them? Great, this is a much better picture. I, I can see the weight over time much more clearly. And let's again jump into the code. So if we could switch to the demo. Uh, there we go. So here you can see um, that it's added two critical pieces. One, calculate the upper and lower bounds for the outliers, and then two, filter the data within those upper and lower bounds. If we go back to the demo, uh, back to the slides, excuse me. You can see this, uh, this looks great, and it definitely looks like it's time to harvest some of that honey. Um, as you can see, I actually do, we do actually have bees and this is our own honey. So super excited uh, to be able to use this data to show you this use case. Now, as you can see, Vertex AI Extensions is designed to enable these experiences and many more. We're super excited to allow our developers to create, build, evaluate, and optimize their LLM and LLM powered extension applications in the places where they need them most. But I have to say that this wouldn't be possible without the support of the fantastic team that is behind Mark and myself. And so this is a quick shout out to them. Thank you all so much for your hard work and super excited to keep building on this platform to explore the various use cases together with our customers. And for that, we'd love for you to stay in the loop to share your use case with us. And to do so, make sure you sign up on that link and then make sure you're signed up for the Vertex AI Trusted Tester Program, um, which also your GCP sales representative should be able to help you with if you do have any questions. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you all so much.